Hi, I'm Chris Chisholm. And I'm Claudia Garcia, and we're part of the patient experience team here at Houston Methodist Baytown. And today, we're going to talk to you about bedside shift report. It's part of our standards of practice for our great patients. So let's go take a look at what a bedside shift report looks like. Sounds great. Okay, Amanda, I have a couplet here to give you. This is Miss uh, Deborah Green. She had a baby boy last night. So we're going to go, go ahead and go in and give bedside report. Sounds good. Okay. Come in. Good morning, Miss Green. Bedside shift report is defined as the transfer of responsibility, accountability, and authority for a patient and their care from one nurse to another. It occurs at each shift change and should include the patient and the family. Information discussed should include the nurse sensitivity indicator report, an introduction of clinicians, a check of all drains, dressings, and lines, and the updated communication board. Good morning, Ms. Green. This is Amanda. This is the next Hi. shift nurse. She's going to take over care of you and your baby, okay? Okay. I need you. to give some bedside report, give her information on you and baby and how you've done since you've been here. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Is there anybody for your privacy? Is there anyone that needs to leave the room while I go over your private and personal information? No. Okay. Remember, when starting a bedside shift report, you should gel in before entering the patient's room. Make sure you knock on the door and ask permission to enter. Explain the bedside shift report process to the patient and include the patient and the family. Remember to use your good aided skills. Acknowledge the patient. Call them by their preferred name and that of the baby. Introduce yourself and the oncoming team. Use good duration or time frames when discussing. Explain everything you're going to do and why. And then thank the patient for choosing Houston Methodist and for letting us care for them. Remember to also use your keywords, such as safe, comfort, private, always, and my pleasure. When we use these words, we remind our patients that what is important to them is always important to us. Okay, Amanda, here I have Miss Deborah Green. She's 23 years old, no allergies. She's now a G1P1. She delivered 40 and one gestation. She was a vaginal delivery. During bedside shift report, over. discuss prior shift activities with the patient. Do a physical review of all lines, drains, tubes, and dressings. Review tests and treatments for the day. And review core measures. Do you have any questions or concerns about you or baby's care so far? Uh, no. Okay. okay. I see that you last got your pain medication a few hours ago. Are you in any pain right now? Um, yes, a little bit. You are? Okay. Mm -hmm. Give me just a... 10 to 15 minutes and I'll go in and I'll check your chart and see what we can get you, okay? Okay, that sounds okay. good. We're gonna go ahead and update your board so we make sure you've got, we've got all the correct names on there so you know who to call should you need anything, okay? She already told you my name, but it's Amanda, so I'm gonna write it up here up top. Okay. I'm also going to write down our tech. That is Julie. She's so sweet. She'll be in a little bit later to get your vitals. And then Carmen is our charge nurse today. She also makes rounds on all our patients, so she'll come in and see how you're doing and ask you some questions. Okay. Is there a way that I can call the nutrition department? Oh yeah, that's actually all up here. So you oh. can call to order your meals at 4441, and if you don't have a menu, I'll get you When one. closing out a round, remember to fill in the communication board. This is a great time to manage up. That means to say something that is both positive and true. You can manage up your teammates, your department, other departments, or yourself. Ask the patient if there's anything else we can do for them. Clean up all trash and trays. Ensure the patient has their belongings in call light within reach. Thank the patient for their time. Set the expectation of return and gel out when leaving the patient's room. Okay, Ms. Green, before we head out of your room, we're just going to tidy up a little bit. I see I a couple of items here we can get out of your way. Yes, yeah, thank you. You've got your cell phone nearby. Mm -hmm. Let me go ahead and make sure your call light is close to you so you've got it in case you need thank to call you. us for anything at all, okay? It's been such a pleasure taking care of you and your family. Congratulations on your new baby. Thank you. Sign your card right here. This is all. This is your entire care team that is taking care of you Thank while you're you here. Thank you so much. Here. I appreciate y'all. Is there anything else that we can get for you to make your stay more comfortable? Oh no, that's all. You're good right now. Wonderful. Should you need anything else, just press your call light. Thank you. Okay, I'm taking over now. So in just a minute, like 10 to 15 minutes, I'm okay. gonna go and check on that pain medication for you. Oh yes. And then I'll be Thank back. You. Okay. Uh, you don't need you. anything else right now. No, right. I'm okay right now. Okay. Thank well, you. you have your call light. If you need me before I come back, hit that button. Okay. There are some times when it's appropriate to not do shift report at the patient's bedside. 
if the patient is asleep, if the patient is non-compliant or combative, or if the patient has requested to not be included in bedside shift report. In those cases, do the report outside the patient's room. Thank you so much. So now that you've seen the bedside shift report training video, you might be wondering what's next? Well, that's a great question. You may be asked to attend a skills lab. A skills lab is kind of like a practice where you get to show off your great skills that you've learned. Um, you may also get some shadow rounds done with a member of either, either the patient experience team or a member of your management team. This will help you to grow as a professional and it'll also help improve our patient's experience. Thank you for watching our training video. We'll see you soon.